How's it going guys? Zonobra here coming at you with a new uh, coaching uh, of replay uh, that I'm actually doing for free on my email. So if you want me to coach you as well, send me an email at learnlol.com at gmail.com. Uh, today our student, our, like the guy we're going to help is called uh, the Tablet Breaker. He's playing Fizz AP uh, Mid with uh, Ignite and uh, he is starting Potion of Corruption. Uh, corruption potion corrupting potion sorry so let's focus on him a little bit he asked me to follow um he asked me to follow a few stuff like he wants me to help him uh, understand what he does good what he does bad this is really general but he really wanted to know as well how he can improve his cs and how he could imp uh, improve his uh, overall uh his his overall uh, domination in team fight uh, he wants to know a lot of stuff, so we're gonna go over this game together like the Riven uh, game and hopefully uh, We can teach him something and hopefully you can learn something out of his mistake uh, He is currently silver 3 I believe and uh, hopefully this can help him uh, reach gold uh, And maybe get the, uh, the the skin the legacy skin every year uh, for the for the next season so the first wave is coming. Fizz is uh, gonna match up, gonna do a matchup with Xerat that is that has uh, exhaust. Already a good uh, tra strap here, so he knows how big is the the Q spell. I don't know if he knows the matchup with uh, Xerat. I would like to know uh, how to just focus on Fizz. All right, so Grave is gonna invade right away after his Gromp, which is very uncommon, but why not? I mean, why not? But let's let's focus on Fizz. I'm sorry. Uh, he got poked once or twice, and uh, actually we, we're gonna we're gonna accelerate. We're not gonna watch the whole game as you as you know, so we're just gonna accelerate a little bit. He takes pokes, so he uses he uses his E to strap a spell. It's not bad. It's just be careful to not use all your mana just to strap a spell. Um, it's okay to get poked. It's okay to like not use spell to strap uh, spells, but you just have to understand that. For example, uh, if the jungle comes right now, you're very sensitive. I mean, you didn't use your, sp your spell that makes you untargetable to uh, get away from a CC. You used it to get away from um, a poke. So let's say right now, if the jungle is coming, Xeraf could flash stun you without... Which will force you to use your, your flash or maybe uh, be synonym of your death. Alright, let's go and play it again. So I don't know. There's something's happening here. So Graves took the the red. So you actually like you're losing a lot of pressure over this. Uh, this makes people tilt usually when the jungle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen here. So basically, you push your lane. Okay. You push your lane. You use your trinket over here. So you did not have vision on Graves, but you knew he was here because uh, you knew he was here because Listen saw him. Uh, Listen should have probably told you that he's doing his red. Listen is responding by the same thing, and he's not expecting him to go directly to middle. Uh, although there's a ping, there's a danger ping right here. I don't know who is it from, but I'm probably sure it's from a Listen or someone else that saw it. Uh, Grave is level two. He has red buff. You have right now. You have your E spell available. Um, and you have your W available. I mean, I don't think you're gonna die here, but let's see, let's see how you deal with this. So, you see Grave, you take one hit, you E, and you're gonna die, okay. So, the mistake here is uh, pretty uh, obvious, wait, how can I come back to, the things that I'm afraid to use to come back, uh, because it's kind of bugged, you see how it's bugging right now? So wait, let's just accelerate. Blah blah blah. Grave is doing the red buff. He's doing the red buff. Okay. Here he comes. Okay. Right now, what you should do is that because you know so you know how a grave works, okay? When like the, I mean the huge mistakes you do here is that when you E, he dashes in, which is good. He wants to gap close to maybe hit you one more time and you're gonna die with red buff. The thing is that you go towards your turret. So what you should have done is to flash instantly. Don't don't be scared. Don't do the economy of flash. If it can save you the gold of the first blood, you need to flash. This is why 
Like, this is why the Flash is here. Uh, if you see programmers, they don't even exact it. They see, the, they see the jungle, they see a potential danger of death, boom, they flash. That's it. No problem. Maybe they don't have flash, but okay, they're gonna have to play safer for the next five minutes. But it's okay. At least they didn't die. This is the number one thing. Do not die. Do not die. That's it. So here, like, you do two mistakes. You don't flash first. You E, and because he has a gap close, he doesn't really care about you. E, and you do damage for the first hit. Um, so he's probably guaranteed a kill, and you make the, the task easier by just running towards your turret so that his Q spell can bounce on your face. So... One tip I can give you with Fizz is that when you see the auto attack coming towards you, okay? So, when you see the auto attack coming towards you, hopefully I can capture this. Uh, let me see, let me see. When you see the auto attack coming towards you, okay? I'm gonna tell you when is okay. Okay, this is when you E, okay? When this is in air. When you eat this, you won't take damage from it. We're going to see that normally you're going to get hit and then you're going to get E. So you see, you get E, you, so you get hit, you take the damage here. And then you E. That's a problem. You, when you need to E to cancel his auto attack and run away. Always do that. This was a mistake. I mean, you might get surprised by the grave coming from behind. And the fact that your lane was pushed and you had to overextend to get the experience. But you need to use, to utilize your E to actually uh, make a spell or hit disappear. That's how Fizz is very, uh, very strong, and that's because uh, that's why it's so strong against uh, a Z, for example. Uh, okay, so you die, you get first blood. Let's just uh, go forever a little bit. So you're gonna come back. You're gonna build the po the the boots of speed. I guess this is okay. I mean, you only have 300 gold, I guess. So, right now you have 10 farm, Xera has 15, it's okay, and Listen wants to come, he's level 3, he doesn't get a lot, uh, he, his timing is terrible because the wave just got here, but he just wants to put some pressure, and pretty sure is just gonna stun him, and go, so he used the dash ward, he puts a little bit of pressure, but this is not gonna, this is not gonna end up on anything, essentially if you were, okay, at least you were not greedy. It's fine. So now this thing gives you a little bit of air and oxygen, so you can lane m properly. You can actually gonna, you can now put a little bit of pressure on the Xerath, but always be careful because Grave could be uh, anywhere. Now that he has first blood, you don't know how much damage he can do. So back at it again. Uh, Listen is just gonna go back to his jungle. And Xerath is like, okay, I'm just gonna chill and farm with my spells. So you decide to push. Okay. So the thing is that. Pushing with Fizz is not terrible, okay? It allows you to it allows you to warm roam, sorry. It allows you to, to create opportunities for your for your side lanes. It's good, right? But right now I feel like you already know that Grave is very he wants to gank you, you already know how it is. And I, I feel like you make it the task very easy for Xerath. Like he is just brought down to thirty percent HP. Um, he can only farm with his very high range spell, so he has to spend mana to gain gold and experience. And you're making the task easier for him by pushing, pushing him, and just bringing all this farm towards him. So here, I don't know, are you gonna get stunned on the turret? Okay, no, you're not gonna get stunned on the turret, let's slow down a little bit. So here, you're level 3, he's level 4, he's gonna get level 5 before you. Well, that was a weird nose. So, there we go. So you're just gonna try to push this. But this is very, very dangerous what you're doing. Besides besides anything else than doing him a favor. So he's gonna miss Cannon Minion, which is not bad. Your farm is not terrible for now. Uh you you you're playing a fizz, you die once already. Okay, this is what I want you to do. This is actually this is good, but it costs you a lot of mana. So one thing is okay, one thing is that when you do this, again, when you use your E, you're you're vulnerable. You can't use your E as much as you want. Like you can't just use your E to poke him a little bit and E out. Right now, Xerath is under his turret. You're nowhere near close to get level 6. So you won't be able to dive him. So just don't do that because Xerath could come again. He could come again from here. You don't have any ward here. He could come... I mean, he could come from here, okay? Because you don't have vision on this side. You, he could come from a lot of places. And right now, there's definitely an opportunity for Xerath to just stun, flashed on you, whatever. Okay? Let's move on. Okay, so Grave decides to come. So, you don't have vision on this side, and you stay in the middle, I mean, okay. What I say on my vision control uh, as, a, as a mid laner is that when you ward here, 
you might want to stay here because the jungle is probably going to come from here or from here but if he comes from here you can see him if he doesn't you have more time to react okay that's so weird you just went like this very uh just instantly and it makes you it make it made him think that you were actually am i wrong he it made me it made him think that you actually have a ward here that's funny all right just be careful of the skew spell okay so how to deal with Xerad's Q spells. Xerad, he wants to push, he wants to farm, and he wants to poke. If you allow him to do this, all the three at the same time, it's not good. So what I suggest you to do is that when he's casting his Q spell, just get away from your farm, let him rather poke you or farm, okay? And when he pokes you, then you push, so he can't really push because he doesn't have the Q available. And he's going to use W, which costs a lot of mana, and blah, blah, blah. And if he just damaged the, the, the minion, it's fine. You don't take damage. He pushes. He makes himself learn the roll. That's how you deal with it. All right, Grave wants to come for a second round. He has a uh, Scuttler, and there's no vision. There's no absolute vision you have on him. So let's see on how, let's study on how this guy reacts, okay? So right now, the Grave ping twice, okay? So he knows that's what's going to happen. So let's see. He's going to try to poke. You're going to eat, okay? Again, again, again. Please do not eat when you're vulnerable. E makes you vulnerable, you don't have vision, you have no idea where Grave is. Save your E. Like if you see uh the pro gamers, if you see the I'm sorry, the Diamond Master Challenger players, they do not use E like this. This is a mistake and this is probably gonna cost you uh your death. So you get exhaust. You see that right now Ruzera is pushing so he doesn't care about the minion damage. Uh, and you go this way. This is a good reflex, okay? You don't run like this, uh, like, like a, an, I guess a bad, a bad player. You just run the opposite direction so that Graves has a hard time gap closing. Okay, so actually you're gonna go like this. I mean, I feel like you're gonna end like this to strap the stun, but the stun is going like this, so you're gonna take it. No, okay. So that's good. You flash the stun. Uh, I mean, it's good to run away like this if you can run. If you can flash, flash towards the turret so you're safe. So at 23, you use your E to farm. And you have a 12 second CDR. So like in 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah, you didn't have your E. Here you didn't have your E, you died because you farm here. It's as simple as that. You just died because you wanted to do damage to those minions right here. And you give another kill to, uh, you give a kill to Xera this time, and you at least take the flash and the exhaust, the flash from Xera and the exhaust from Xera. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. Let's. There we go. So you come back to lane. Let's just put it faster a little bit. So you're gonna farm right now. Your farm is 23 at six minute and a half. I don't want to say it's bad because you died twice and you do a lot of mistakes. But right now, you're not focused a lot about on last hitting. You really focused on, on being aggressive, on um, on just like you just focused on pushing for some reason. Uh, like you never farm under your turret. Like I've never seen you farm under your turret as if it was a problem. Um, it's okay to. Uh, I I rather you get pushed on and you lose a little bit of your HP and you get some farm and experience because right now he's level six, right? Yeah, he's level six. You level five and. He has so much MR right now that I don't think you can kill him uh, when you go level 6. Something you do is that you build uh, no magic mental. Okay, so this is the this is the reaction that a lot of bad players have. Is that it's like I die, so I have to fix that right now. And you just change your path of you just change the path of builds that you do. So you just build AP against uh, two ADC comp uh, a, a ADC top and a Xerath. So the only AP damage you have right now is Xerath. So you build something as a reaction to your landing phase failure. I don't want you to ever do this again. Like, Fizz is an assassin. He takes away one target very easily and he gets away from very bad situation very easily. Don't build defensive item first or you will never be able to have any impact in the game whatsoever. Uh, and yeah like the the no magic cape whatever it is don't build it go for sheen very early in the game or uh go for uh yeah go for sheen very early in the game and zonias and once you have uh, leech bane and zonias you absolutely insanely uh, fed i can understand why you want to go to abyssal right now because you feel like your lane phase is kind of hard 
But I personally think it's a good investment because of the way their comp is built and the amount of AD damage they have. So if you had the Zonias earlier than the Abyssal, that would be good. Then once you have Lich Ban and Zonias and Xero happens to be fed, maybe you can do uh, Mercury, Mercury Treads or you can do another a, like a resistance uh, magic resist item, like Abyssal for example. Let's go back to it. Okay. Well, let me see what you're trying right now. So, you have a pink ward here. You don't have vision on the self. You have no idea where Grave is. Like, you have no idea where Grave is. You know that Zerav doesn't have uh, exhaust. Listen is nowhere near so that he can help you. And you're not level 5. And you have less minion on your side. So, you're trying an aggression in a very bad situation. Around, but I'm not sure he's going to end up, like, badly. So, you're gonna hit him once with the Q spell, and he's just gonna... Oh, you're gonna eat in as well to put damage on, and now, guess what? You have nothing to do against Zerat, so he's just gonna do a lot of damage to you without you even be able to react. You're not level 6, so you can't re-engage. So here we go, it costs you one potion of your Corruption Potion. He's gonna Z you, W you, and Q you. So overall, you took more damage than him. It's worth it for him. Something good is happening, but he's gonna try to touch you with this. Boop. There we go, and he did again. So right now he has two level. Um, he has two level. He's two level ahead than you. Um, you have twenty eight farm. His farm is terrible as well. So don't don't worry about it. Uh, but I'm, I'm focusing on you. I, I'm not here to criticize your teammates. I'm not here to criticize your elo. Uh, your farm is very low, and I'm not sure if you last it well. Let me, let me see how you last it. So here, you're going to be too late. I oh, know. Okay, maybe you can do it a little faster. I don't, I don't think you have a problem with last hitting, honestly. I just want to see that again. Okay, okay. Okay, so you farm. Blah, blah, blah. So, when are you getting level 6 exactly? So you get poked a lot, unfortunately, but that's not your fault. At least you max the right spell. Zerf is just trying to be very annoying. Okay, he's spamming the hell out of the spells on you right now. And he has Kelly, so he regenerates a lot of uh, mana. And you're just trying to farm the turret, which you're doing an actual good job out of it. Good job. Okay, right now Lysian wants to come. He's not level 6, that's too uh, that's too bad. He's very close to his turret though, and he has flash, and you, you are level 6. You Maybe you can do something out of it. Oh, it's too bad. The slow is gonna come up. Oh, you gonna go for it? Oh. Okay. Okay, at least he's gonna get the pink. No? Okay, he's not gonna get the pink. Too bad. Uh, that was a, I mean, that was a good try. You tried to do the fish and everything. It was a good aiming. Unfortunately, like, you took the, the decision not to go because it was too risky, and that was good. And you knew he still had flash. And he had no... You knew that Grizzle stop. Eh. I mean, you knew that he had flash, right? That's it. Ooh. Okay, you almost died. It's okay, it's okay. So you're gonna back, and you're gonna go play Megatron. Just the thing is that you have Megatron at 9 minutes. Like, right now you have nothing to help you with your mana. You have nothing to help you with your a uh, AP. You have nothing to help you with your offensive stats. That's why you don't do any damage. Like, if you had Sheen right now, if you had anything else in this... You would be probably gonna kill him right now. Like it, that's what I'm trying to say is that building defensive puts you in the mindset that you don't want to play the game. You know you're gonna get hit, and you don't you don't hit, so you become soft basically. Your gameplay becomes very soft, and you're almost a victim. Like you need to be aggressive in a very smart way, in a very calculated way. Don't build MR first. I'm not saying Abyssal is not a is bad uh, first item. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that on Fizz, it's not the right way to answer for Xerath, especially with a double AD comp. Okay, 
Okay, wait, wait. You trying to roam right now? So I missed that. Uh. So you were trying to roam. And you went back. Okay. You, d you roam when you didn't have R. I mean... Okay, okay, it's fine. You tried something, you saw there was a ping, but although there was two wards here that you didn't see, there was a ping here, so there was a good opportunity to go from here and maybe do something. I'll, th I'll give you that. The thing is that it's hard to gank when there's a Kalista because of the R, and if you don't have your own ultimate, it's kind of hard to follow up and uh, give time for Thresh and, and, um, and Lucian to follow up as well. <sighs> so you go back to lane, uh, right now I feel like you're gonna be aggressive, he has no mana, like, he has enough for combo, he does not, he has ult, but he does not have flash. Good job, good job on, uh, strafing the E with your, your own E, that was good, good job. And you take a lot of damage, you just take one tower hit and you just go back. You get hit, but it's okay. You're gonna push and probably back, right? So you're gonna push. Oh no! Are you gonna get the kill at least? Nope. He's leveling up. No, he got the mastery. That's too bad. All right, let's analyze that. Let's 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 go back to this. Let's go and check it out. I mean, you take a risk. So now let's just uh, look at it. I'm getting used to the macros of this, uh... Okay. So, you don't have fish, you do have flash and ignite, and you you think you can take 556 health off of him, which is actually reasonable. So, you're gonna do well by not taking the E. But he has exhaust. That's the exhaust that you didn't calculate. He has exhaust, and you maybe flash too late. Maybe you should have flashed instantly so you could take the, the last hit off of him. I want to say nice try. I want to say nice try, but the thing is that if you do this, why do you have a Negatron? Uh, like, you see how controver like how paradoxical it is? Like, what would you build defensive if, you, if you're an aggressive player? Or at least build explosive one before the Negatron? Maybe if you want to do Abyssal, like, that's a good solution as well. Okay, 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 let's stop, let's stop. So right now what's happening? So there was a contest at, at here, there was a team fight, Dyrus died, Graves died, Listen almost died, Trash is gonna try to hook the uh, Xeraph. He's gonna give the lantern to Akali. Boom, good job. And you're gonna just gonna get here, oh no, why did you do that? That was unnecessary, that, that was not necessary. He doesn't have flash, he doesn't have anything, he doesn't have enough damage to kill them. Don't and the range was way too. Uh, you you started here. Learn the range of your ult. That's really important. And you're gonna take the kill. You are gonna take the kill. That's good. That's gonna give you some boost. You did do uh, explosive one, so that's a good job. So you guys are gonna push the two. The jungle and the top is gonna do herald. That's gonna go really well. You're gonna help them. That's very nice of you. Did not place your pink ward yet. It's been uh, it's been two minutes. I understand though. I understand. You already have vision here, but you should definitely go place it here or here. That's really important. So you saw Graves just uh, doing some uh, weird shit in the bot lane. So you decide to move to help. You don't have any mana though. That's kind of annoying. So you're gonna pop your corruption potion times three. Thresh is making making plays right now. He's playing with the box, which is really nice. Oh, the this one, this bad boy here just troll the hell of your trash that was too bad but guess what you're here to save the day hopefully you can secure a kill on Akali style you're gonna give the kill to Lucian assist to uh, Thresh and not a Kelly that is here for nothing that's too bad because she gets the buff and she's not near uh, minions so that's kind of a waste all right Xerf is gonna try to contest the the dragon Lucian is here Grave is dead so you guys are all good you're gonna secure your stuff good job Akali is gonna actually gonna secure it. You know that Xerath is here though. You still have a low farm, a very low farm, and very low experience. You really need to work on this. Like you really, really, really need to work on this. Go watch my uh, go watch my video about uh, improving your CS and how to do this. Um, 
and just try to be as close as the milestone I did on the article on Lernal, okay? Try to read the article, it's actually really interesting for you. Alright, so you, okay, you don't take the stun, blah blah blah. Okay, right now you want to make a play on Xeraf. Listen, has ultimate, please tell me you have ultimate this time. Yeah, he does, he even has flash. You have ult, you have ignite in a bit, in like five seconds, so that should be that should be easy. Good job. Good job, good job. You even save your ult and ignite. That was probably a good a good decision, right? Alright, let's go speed up. We're like 15 minutes into the game right now. You almost completed your first item. I'm pretty sure you, you're gonna have it right now. You did and you're having Sheen after, that's good. Shin is the best item, most cost effective, most worth it, most everything you want on uh, on fist stops so insane the damage it does to you. Okay, so you have your tower is gone down, you couldn't really protect it. Maybe Listen should have been there, but he's actually taking the decision to go bot, but the bot lane died, so he's just gonna try to defend. But I'm not sure if he's gonna do it because he's probably gonna get dove dove in. Let's see what's gonna happen here. So you're pushing mid, and you just see graves. Just coming out of nowhere. You're just gonna escape. You're not gonna take the fight, which is good. I mean, you do have fish. You do have a knight. Eh, you probably could have taken it, actually. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. You are gonna take it. You see how I'm getting to know? Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. He did. He did. He did. Like, want you to do it here, and he did do the the little Z uh, that puts you in, a, in an awkward position like this. So right now you're like, you kind of know you're fucked, but you're still going in. So you're gonna strive the E spell with your E, but you're not gonna get the damage off the E on him. That's too bad. So you're gonna be forced to flash out. You should have turned out right now. Look how many look at minions, minions he's tanking. Boom. Okay, you're gonna die. Unfortunately. Okay, the thing is that when you're running in a straight line like this against Grave, it's easy to put the, the ult in, right? So the thing you want to do, there's two things you want to do here. Is that first, when you want to fish. Make sure you Q first, because when you Q and fish, the fish will just grab onto Graves instantly, and it's very hard. Like, there's only, like, a few frames that allows him to strap it, but it's very rare. Uh, so you just dash on him and ult at the same time, you'll see how it works. Just practice it, you'll see every time you won't miss a fish anymore in your life, except if it's long distance. Here, you just put it in before you want a Q spell, that's why you've panicked. I mean, he did strap it. It's just it just happens. It happens to everyone. This happens to everyone. There's no big deal. The second thing you should do is that when he's tanking minion and he you're running a straight line, you make it too easy for him to just uh, use his range to do good things, uh, to do damage, and use his ult in a straight line to kill you. So what you know to do in those situation, and because you had a knight, you needed to go in. You needed to fight, keep like like hitting him with the potion, running around in circles around him, and just making him panic, and then you can kill him. And make sure you touch him with your E, because if you don't do the damage from the E that you max, you're not going to do enough damage to kill him. Here it was an easy kill. Easy kill. you like, if you could do it again right now with what I told you, you would have killed him. Easy, lemon, squeezy. Alright, let's play the game again. So you're going to die another time. So you got four times already, which is a lot. Uh, but it's okay. Your team is doing well. Listen is doing freaking amazing. Well, he just died though. That's too bad. Uh, Lucian is doing okay. Kalista is doing very well. So that's kind of scary. But it's okay. You're Fizz. You're supposed to kill her. So right now you're going to pop. So you're going to go mid. You're going to deep push. Dyrus is going top. So I want to see what you do right now. I mean, you kind of want to do the the, the pyramid, right? We decide to go top to get the wave. This is good. You just uh, anticipate the slow push that this is gonna that that this is th that this was gonna do. Uh, so that's actually a good decision. There we go. You just clean everything while your team does the job. The things like Zera is pushing mid, so you might want to go back as soon as possible. That's what you're gonna do. But you're still gonna lose all the turret health right now. Mid HP on your tier two mid. This is huge for them. Um, if they group and siege this, it's going to be easy as well to take on, especially with Xeraf, which is very good in siege phase. So Xeraf is chasing down your Thresh. Thresh is going to die. 
And you're just here, you're just chilling, going back and forth. You don't know, you don't know what to do. You're just going there, there, you're like, oh, what do I do? I farm, I go, I farm, I go, I go, I farm, I farm, I go. What I was just telling you to do is that when you don't know what to do, okay, just do whatever makes you uh, best, okay? If you want to, if you want to go bot, you have a chance of dying. You have a chance of killing. You have a probability of failing. Yeah, blah blah blah. blah okay. If you stay mid and farm, you have a 100% chance of getting gold, a 100% chance of getting experience, and a little bit of chance of taking turret. So do this, okay? Do not waste time going back and forth in the jungle. You're wasting your time. Just focus on your game. Focus on your performance. And right now, your creep score is low. Your experience is low. You have levels. Uh, you have two level difference one level difference with your mid laner just do your farm that's it so that's what you're gonna do that's perfect but you did lose time and you did lose like two or three minutes there like right now check out your vision guys like whoa you have one pink card who's this one has been here all game i don't know who placed it you still have this ping from the from the oh no this is your pink Oh, okay, this is your ping, and you bought another one, not expecting that this one was like this long. Okay, that's crazy when you think about it. So you only, you're the only team member to actually buy a ping, in your game. Let's compare it to the red team. I mean, they do have more vision than you, though. They do have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven wards. Compared to you guys. Okay, that's that's. I mean, that's one of the reasons they're winning, right? All right, right now you're going top. You're being seen by this. You didn't see it there. Be careful because if you see this, you know that they see you, so you don't waste time going all the way over there. You're still going. You you're still going though. You're going to be fast. You're gonna throw your ult ultimate. I don't know. Actually, he's probably gonna die. But you know that thrush and listings are coming, so maybe you could do something about this one. Okay, you do the fish, he's dashing in, in a weird position. And you're probably gonna secure the kill with listen. Okay. So I know you're really low, you have 20% HP. Uh, yeah, 20%, 15% HP. Yeah, nothing you could have done. Wow, you just took every skill shot that he had to offer, man. Be careful with that, be careful with that, man. I mean, again, like... Okay, okay, I mean, three died, I understand. Okay, okay, never mind. Three died, but I was kind of scared of what, what you were doing there. I kind of want to see everyone, though, okay. When are you guys starting to group, man? It's crazy, it's 22 minutes, you guys haven't grouped once. It's a laning phase. Oh my. You see, like, this is exactly what I'm telling you. Okay, so stop doing this with Fizz right now. I know you know. Uh, wait, let's stop this song. Like, just try to dash in and then R so you're sure that you touch it. The, the only way you will do the R in the long distance is that if you want to try to engage in a 5 on 5, right? Like, if there's 5 and 5 and you try to hit someone. So that it's it helps your team like generate influence and like generate pressure so that engage is going well. Alright, right now you're 2v3. So Grev is coming. Xerf is come he's trying something. He's trying something. So you're backing up. Okay, I guess you're low, so you got scared. Let's see what they, those two bad boys do. <laughs> so this thing just decides to do golems. Yeah, Akali, which is actually Akali's not very bad, man. She's uh, she's tanky. I like her build. It's not bad. Okay, this is coming back to uh, to the game. Okay, so he dashed. Fla Why didn't he just flash here? I don't get it. or dash ward here. Oh my god. <gasps> so both flash are gonna get used from Akali and Lucian. The stun is gonna go, and Kurt is gonna get the kill, I guess. And you're gonna come back, so you cancel your back to come back at the last minute, and you're probably gonna die as well. Okay, you take one kill, you get stunned, and you die. Okay, so three for one. Okay, three for one. Flash from uh, Lucian, flash from Akali, and knight from you for one kill on Grave, who just got flash. We got the flash from Zeraf, and 
uh, the exhaust, which is not worth it at all. You should have been there, take the 3v2 and not back. The thing with Fizz is that you can enter fights and leave them as easy. It's like, it's so easy, right? You disappear from the fight, you're untargetable, and you should utilize that. Like, you should train your, your Q in, E out, Q in, E out, Q in, E out, Q in, E out, poking, and people won't even focus you. Like, the thing is that, like, you had the resources to do a great team fight here. You had your spells, you had your flash, you had your ignite, you had uh, the leeson kick, all that. You should have been there for your teammates. That was your mistake. That's why you lost the trade. And Thresh here, he can't just work his magic. He can't do anything. And Xeraph is just gonna... Okay, right now... So right now the bot lane is trying to push. Lucian is gonna stop them. Alright, I wanna see when you come back what the hell's happening. So you came back. You right here. A team fight exploded in the mid lane. You were not here because you were dead. It's okay. So you're just gonna go there. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't see. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes the 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 times eight is too fast for me. So so you're gonna run here, right? Okay. Okay, so this is good, right? They don't have vision on you. You have the ward here. You know that you're 100% sure they're gonna go towards this way. In those case, you can throw your fish, right? So you're gonna touch Kelly Star, which is the target you want, and that's really good. Okay, you're not gonna get scared. This is this is what I want you to do in the beginning. You're not gonna get scared, of Dyrus. Who gives a shit about him? You're just gonna go on Kalista, it's your target, it's your role to kill her, then you're gonna do your job and do it. And that's really good. That's what you're supposed to do. So, you're gonna kill her, insane amount of damage, Kalista can't do anything, she doesn't have any spells, she doesn't have summer spells, whatever. And Listen is now here on backup to get the dark skill. Sad just showed up to the party, he is late though, so he's not very welcome. Luckily, he's gonna get stunned, unfortunately. I don't think there's gonna be any follow up on Xeraf. Nope. So you guys are you gonna push bot? So you have Lich Bane now. Uh, one tip is that don't try to use your E to farm in a siege, especially when Lucian is here with full mana. You might want to save your mana for team fights. That's just a tip. If you're full mana, do it. If you need uh, to clear this as soon as possible, if you're back to back, whatever. If you're if you were about to back, uh, then do it. But in those kind of situation, like just save your mana. Let Lucian like use the spell to farm. Because the thing is that you don't have a lot of regeneration. The only mana resource you have is your the mana from the Sheen. And the, the Leech Bane, I guess. So right now, you're trying to... Uh, eh, I'm very doubtful about this right now. Why would you go on the Leona that is under W, uh, that is very tanky, like you don't want to do this. Don't do this. Uh, she's not even going to die. Lucian is going to use his heal. He's going to use his ult. You're going to use your flash. You see how much you spend to do nothing. It's cra like This is crazy. Um, don't do that. Just don't. Just don't. Uh, it will help you. Like you need to be. You need to be aggressive in good times. Like you need to work on your decision making. This is purely game knowledge decision making. Yeah, this is unmechanical. This is game knowledge decision making, uh, which is very important. Don't go on a Leona when she's under a tier two turret. When she has W up, uh, and when she's that tanky with like a frozen heart. Uh, bunch of armor. Even though she doesn't have a lot of a lot of MR, who cares? She has a lot of AP, uh, of HP. She has a lot of CC. Don't go on her. Especially it's Fizz and Lucian. Both carries, both squishy. Xeraf wasn't dead and is actually here to kill you. So I don't know what's gonna happen then, but nobody dies from it. But you still use a lot of summer spells, so it's a worth trade for the red team. Uh, Grave is pushing top. Actually, that's that's kind of funny. He's uh still pushing. Okay, Darius is going to join him, so now it's kind of panic time up in the hood. Uh, you don't know what to do, so you backed. You're level 13. That's so, so low. Like, I don't know why you guys have such a low level. Like, it's so... It's Why is he level 15? Like, your farm difference is not huge, though. I don't know what's happening with this. And you guys are going to get the kill. Probably double kill. You're going to flick his graves. The squishy target. He's actually gonna get away? No. No way. No way. 
Okay, so you got to kill him. There's no way he's going to get away, right? Oh my god, what a god. Okay, the heal is used by Kalista. Akali does the mistakes of doing one step forward. And she's going to die for it. Thresh is going to try to save the day. And you hear the kill at Graves. That's good. Kalista is alone now. She should be an easy target to do as well. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Good job, man. That was good. That was good. Good management. You just waited for your combo. How many... Uh, You have a good CDR right now, right? You have, like, what? You have, uh... Uh... You have, what? You have 10. 10. You have, like, 30. Okay, cool. Uh, is there a just check if you were doing Baron? Alright, so now we're gonna enter team fights. Uh, your Zonia is almost ready. So right now you don't have Zonia, right? Team fight is gonna get engaged here. He's got a good uh, opportunity to do a kick on Xeraf, which he's gonna do while the exhaust is gonna get put on to Lee Sin. So let's see what he does. So right now, Lee Sin is doing like what he's what Lee Sin do is that when he gets the Q spell on a carry whatsoever, he's just gonna go in and try to impress people with his insake. Uh, so now he's doing a side insake. Zerat has still have flash. The team is on here. That's a mistake from here. That's a mistake from him, not from you guys, from him. The Shin is dead. What? Why would he do that? So he's probably gonna die right now. <laughs> okay, so your mistakes here is to actually fight. Like, you do not have an ADC. It's 5 on 4. Uh, you're missing your AD damage. Why would you do that? I mean, it's not your direct fault. It's just the team fault. Like, Lee Sin is baiting all his team. And I'm probably, probably sure it's gonna be an ace. Like, you know, you're confused. Like, you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Everyone is gonna die. Lucian is at base. Uh, Lucian is at base. There's nothing you can do. But you actually decide to go. This is your mistakes here. You actually decide to go. Don't be afraid to just, like, go the different way of your team. If you're 100% confident that your team is doing something wrong, then don't follow. Like, it's not because someone jumped out of a cliff that you have to jump out of a cliff. Like, it's not because of this. Like, it's not because your, your, your team decides to, I don't know, like... I don't know, man. Like, you have so many examples. Like, don't act on influence uh, from the peer pressure. Uh, don't, like, make up your mind. Know that you want to get better than those people who are silver. Uh, and you have to know that those people are bad at the game. That's important. Like, you guys in silver, bronze, gold, whatever. There's people that are better than you at the game. Even diamonds, master, whatever. Even challenger. Like, they know that some people are better at the game. And sometimes your teammates won't do something that makes any sense, okay? So don't don't follow. Here, this seems trying to make uh, the good plays. I'm trying to do some YouTube uh, montage, whatever. Don't do that. Like, don't follow. It's 4v5. You don't have anything to do here. You don't even have your summer spell. Your ADC is dead or in base. He can't just run that fast. Uh, this, is, this is just bad decision making from Lucien. Let him do his mistake. Just back off. Let him die. And the thing is that if Lucien dies, they're probably going to go Baron. So you might want to just go directly to Baron, take control of the vision, and try to make them not go there, basically. Alright. Uh, okay, team has slain Dragon. They're pinging, uh, they're obviously pinging Baron right now because Lucien is dead, as I just said. So they're going to do it easy peasy, lemon squeezy, because. Uh, Oh, so this is the time of the game when my... Okay, so I don't know if there's a problem with the spectate, but right now my pause button doesn't work. So, I mean, I don't care. It's just that I won't be able to go back on actions. So wait, maybe if I do this... Wait one second, I'm going to try something. Yo, it doesn't work. It's okay. So let's follow you. Where's Fizz? Where are you, Fizz? Oh, you're here. So you're gonna try to get the. That's a really good decision. I mean, you're gonna try to take the the kill on the guy who is isolating himself. That's really good, especially when the team is not very close from your from your base. So that's really good. You're gonna take it. You're gonna eat while he's uh, using his R. So that's really smart. And you're gonna get the kill. So now 100%, you have to go back mid and defend your inhibitors. 
So here, what's gonna happen is that they're gonna come in. You have the TP from Akali, the hook on Cali staff from Thresh. Okay, one thing I will I will like tell you is that you shouldn't have used fish to use on the grave on a three v one situation. Even though that Cali staff is gonna die here, like right now you're missing any any like you don't have any pressure on the team fight. You take the kill on Cali staff, of course, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, because the Akali was about to kill him. Lucian is full half right now, so he should do the job. Are you going back to base, I guess? You decide not to go back on the team fight. Maybe scared of Dyrus. Oh, you're gonna actually go on Dyrus. Dyrus could be doing massacre right now. He's gonna ult you. You are gonna die from the ult. And you're gonna take the kill. It's a 4v... 4 for 2 right now. Zeref is alone, but he has enough mana to kill all of you. So you're just gonna back off. And that's it. So let's see when you revive. So 886 right now. You died 8 times, which is absolutely nuts. And Graves gets caught again, so you guys punish him for it. That's good. There we go. Gonna take the kill with the knight. Good job. The exhaust on Thresh, why not? And you're gonna take the kill again on Kelly Stat. That's, that's great, that's great. Your, your team fight's good. Your team fight is actually I mean your team fight is good, man. Your team fight is actually good. Like, when you have Zonia, I feel like you're more confident when you play. And that makes a huge difference on your gameplay. So right now you're just backing off. You're missing health. Okay. So, like, you, you do a good job to stay with your team. Like, the group movement. Your build is perfect. Nothing to say with your build. Maybe the early early game build, like the first item you buy were not very correct, as I said early on, but your your itemization is good overall. Uh, and Xerath happens to be fed, so therefore episode was actually worth it. But I just did not know that. I'm watching the game as it goes, basically. I, I don't... This is not like a montage or anything. So Fizz, blah blah blah. Fizz is entering the fight. Okay, the thing is that you're not level 16 yet. So this is huge, like you absolutely need to force your level 16, it's it's coming very soon. You almost need to tell your team, let me, let's wait till I get level 16 before we do anything so I can kill everyone. Level 16 is huge on fits, like you have to know that. So, right now your team is trying to get the front lane down, uh, Akali is gonna hop into the back lane, try to pressure Xera. Right now you have a huge, huge, huge melee right here, and you're gonna try to do the job here. Again, you fell your fish. Do you... Uh, what did I say? My bad. Okay, so that's weird. Because you fish someone and you go for another person. I understand your choice, but try to commit. Try to commit to the person you fish or you 100% he dies. Right now, your team is... Sorry for the slow-mo. It's just a house me focus. So you're gonna get stunned and killed by Xerath, as I might guess. You zone out a little bit too late. You do strive the three R from that. This listen's gonna flash out. And we're just gonna be uh, all from that. You're not gonna die, right? No, you're not gonna die. No, you are gonna die. It's too bad. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you fast spam yourself while you did this. It's okay. So they're gonna take any better, and they're gonna finish the game. No. No way. I'm on trash. Save the day. Okay, Akali's here. Akali's here. I don't even know if you win the game or not. Uh, Leona is gonna be here, Akali's gonna save the day, taking one kill, and you just revived, you're right here, okay, so you need to get your level 16, you're gonna deep push man, you get your level 16, now your fish is absolutely immensely defensive, whoa, 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 stop, 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 uh, Codex, Stinger, okay, so you're gonna do for Nash's Tooth, don't do Nash's Tooth, forget about this, don't ever do it again, please don't do it ever again. The number of hits you're gonna do in a team fight is so low that your attack speed won't even matter. Uh, so please don't do it anymore on Fizz. It's absolutely not good. Uh, it's just not. It's just not good. Not good. Not good. Uh, you do most of your damage with the Q and the, and the E and the R. So don't even think you're doing damage using your auto attacks because the second you auto attack, you become vulnerable and people are gonna kill you. Uh, build uh, build rabbit on instead. Yeah. Build a rabbit on instead, that's way better. So you fell your fish again, but you have to work on this as well. Long distance fish, I mean, it's something that everybody misses, but it's something that you can practice and get better at. 
Good job. You take the kill on grave. It helps you actually. Uh, good zonias. It helps you actually going uh, out of the way. God, good job on this one. So you're gonna regen hopefully fast enough. Zerat is maybe going for the kill. Don't tell me you're gonna die. Okay, you're not gonna die. You're gonna regen quickly, but Kelly State is gonna take the inhibitor. He's, she's hitting super fast. She has, oh my god, she has so many AS. Thresh again with the hook. Thresh is a very good game. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to save the day. You're gonna take the kill on Kelly State. not gonna be enough though. The super minions are gonna finish off the Nexus. This is gonna be a defeat for the team blue. Unfortunately, you're gonna lose off of this. I mean, there is so much, like, there's a lot of things I will say you're good at, and there's a lot of things you say you can improve. Uh, because I can definitely see potential in your fizz, uh, and I feel like it's just easy stuff that you can improve. Uh, it's really, uh, it's not, uh, it's like it's not even like it's not a huge deal. I'm pretty sure everything will come with practice. You did tell me in the email that you wanted me to see a fizz, a dyrus, or a trend number game, so I'm kind of expecting you to be a solo player, like top of mid. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what is your role. Like you didn't tell me about this, but I'm saying that for your fees. Uh, like the, I, I'm gonna say okay. So let's start with the things you do good. Okay, you do well. The things you do well are the following. Uh, you do have a good team fight. Okay, you have a, a good team fight positioning. You know when you get in and you get out of it. You do need to work on it though because it's not perfect. I'm not saying I'm saying it's good this game, but it's not perfect. Like you have a lack of a, like your duel is very. It's not on point. For example, uh, you definitely have to work on your on your. On your R, like the long distance R, and you have to practice the QR so you never miss it R again. That's I said R like 20 times in 10 seconds. R. And uh, your farm is terrible as well. You need to get better at it. Uh, focus on it. And I mean, I know it's the worst matchup to see a farm because it's like Xeraf and Griff gank you like so much time early on. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just. Like, you should have done better anyway. Like, you should get used to go back and forth, left and right, just to uh, make uh, Xeraf insanely uh, mad. Uh, so, experience-wise as well, but experience comes with farm. So, that's it. Uh, your your warning investment was good. I mean, you already you had a pink all throughout the game. Uh, the wards were, were there. I mean, your team should invest in more pink wards. So, you just definitely should encourage your team to buy pink wards. That's, that's huge as well. Don't hesitate to take the lead on your solo queue games that could help you a lot uh, and that helps actually people focus and take the game seriously. Because when you see you have a leader in the team that gives you honest uh, honest feedbacks, gives objectives and doesn't troll in chat, you feel like you want to win uh, because, I don't know, it's like leadership uh, sensations. Like, I don't know I don't know how you say it, but like when you, see, when you see that someone is invested in the game and actually wants to win, you actually want to win. Uh, and the things you do bad, is, uh, the things you do bad is definitely. Uh, so, I want to say your decision making is poor because the way you, like, the way you make decision is weird. It's like I don't think you know. Like your game knowledge must be lacking of a lot uh, of knowledge just because you don't know what how much damage you can do with fizz. Uh, and uh, I feel sometimes you like like I don't know I'm very confused why you went on Leona uh, on the on the bot lane uh, under the tier two turret that was weird uh, and this just comes with a, a, a decision making uh, that I think you should fix. Uh, second, you should not use your E so much to farm um, because the second you use your E, uh, it's when you're vulnerable. It's the same thing for uh, Zed using his shadow to farm. Using the, is the same uh, when Vegar uses his cage. Is the same when LeBlanc uses his uh, W. Uh, it's just the same when all those things happen. When you use your escape, you become vulnerable. Therefore, don't do it all the time to farm. Don't push with Fizz. Let people push for you, uh, and try to be just try to be very. Uh, I mean, try to be an assassin that doesn't look like an assassin. And then knows when to get aggressive and when to get passive. Like you need to make your aggressive passive management way better. Uh, and I think that's it, man. I really think that's it. Uh, I'm just going to check if I went over everything from your email. So you say uh, I would like you to go over how I can improve my CS and wave control. So that's like I think I go I went over this. If you if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just go over my my video uh, that says how to improve your CS uh, on Learnal. There's an article about it, and you'll see my YouTube videos about it. Uh, abuse my advantage. I mean, 
abuse my advantage is it's very situational so if you want to send me another replay go ahead uh, of a team fight or whatever uh, carry feeders slash noobs I mean there's no secret weapons for this you just have to play more get better crush your lane and just win and snowball that's how you carry feeders or, or noobs I guess uh, how to take objective better and what I'm doing wrong in team fight I, how to take objective better is uh, is just something oh I something to not talk about how to do objective better it's basically like you need to motivate your team to group like you need to say okay guys let's group we need to take this tier one turret ASAP we need to get the free gold or nothing's gonna happen basically like listen always wanted to fight uh, actually always wanted to fight thresh and listen was uh, we're actually pretty good in this game and you were kind of confused between being passive and aggressive so how to take objective just tell your team what to do like you need to control your team uh, like they were sheep they're not good at the game you're not good either but if you have the real the mindset of a leader then you'll get you will progress and you will learn from mistakes and etc 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 and what are you doing wrong in team fight i think i went over this you're doing very well when it comes to focusing the right targets uh something things you do wrong is uh you, your use of e is very poor you need to use it more smartly uh you need to use it smart smarter like in a smarter way um and yeah, that's it. I mean, yeah, you, you do. I mean, I can definitely see you getting gold or platinum this season, man. I honestly think you have a good, uh, you have a good fees. And yeah, one of the ult ultimate things is that you die too much. Like you die too much. You don't farm enough. This is, but this is all the players from your elo. Uh, when you see the farm in your game from Xeraf, it's terrible. Uh, no offense, of course. I'm just trying to. I'm just going to be honest. And this, those are honest feedbacks that I'm going to give you. Uh, it's not for me, like, at all to judge you. Uh, so Evan, uh, I hope you like this, the tablet destroyer, uh, if you're not Evan, I hope you like this as well, I think you learned from him something, um, I hope you like it, again, if you want to send me your own replay, send me something at learnold.com, like all letters, um, at gmail.com, uh, a, a, for, a, a summit, uh, page will come on learnold.com, but right now, do send me an email that's better so I can connect with you, get to know you a little bit. And uh, I can, I will create a good form so that you guys have a platform that you can send me that uh, with. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did learn something out of it, please feel free to share this video to your friends, to your family, to your sister, to your mother, to your aunt. I don't care. Anyone that plays Eagle Legend on your entourage. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been Zonabra, and I'm out.